G'day and welcome to this week's edition of the video blog. This year is Adam McDougall. I'm Tomo. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about fat versus sugar. Growing up, our vintage, we were told the fat was terrible for you and you've got to steer clear of it. Um, but now you're hearing obviously the, the, the perils of sugar. Um, I guess what I want to know, I go to a cafe in the morning, I've got the big breakfast option there, you know, eggs, bacon, maybe a couple of sausages. And then over here I've got a granola, say, with a fruit compote. Yeah. Which way do I go? Because obviously one has got a fair bit of sugar, one has got the fat. Which is which direction do I go? Yeah, look, it's it's a really interesting battle at the moment between fat and sugar. You know, we went from that era of low fat and, you know, basically they removed all the fat out of our foods and replaced it like or not with sugar. And we're fatter than ever and we're sicker than ever. So, yeah. you know, more and more research is showing us that sugar needs to be avoided. We're getting too much sugar. It's, it's in all of our foods. So my advice would be to, to skip the granola because most of the other foods we're getting during the day already have all that added sugar. Yeah. So whenever you can avoid sugar, avoid the sugar. And the thing with the other plate, with the eggs, and even with the bacon, is we're now finding that, you know, them fats, your body is going to use a lot of them fats for brain function, you know, for, for you know, vitamin um, absorption. So fat is needed by our bodies. It's needed for our brains, it's needed for our nerves, it's needed for our immune system, and all our hormones. So fats are very important. We shouldn't be afraid of fats, but we've been brainwashed to believe yeah. they're bad for us. And we know that insulin is the master hormone that really makes you fat. And unfortunately, diabetes is prevalent in our society, yep. and that's because of sugar. So I would always avoid sugar first. Um, the combination of fat and sugar, that's the other danger one, isn't it? When they combine the two together, like in a, like in a really nice dessert that's got pastry, and yeah. as well as they're the things that you've got to be careful. Well, they call it the, the deadly double for a reason, because it's more deadly than sugar or fat alone. Yeah. The, the combination is dynamite together. And you know, you talk about granola, like a lot of these granolas and these cereals are, are high in fat and sugar. Mm. You know, we've been conditioned to believe that eating cereal is what we should do. It's not. Yeah. We're not little kids anymore. As an adult and as a man, we need protein. Yeah. So when you're loading up your plate in the morning, my first rule is try to get at least 20 plus grams of protein in the first 20 minutes of waking up. Yeah, wow. Okay. And that will keep you full, it'll keep you satisfied, and it'll stop you from eating things like sugar and craving things, and it'll give your body what it needs to start the day well and continue the day well. Alternatively, what happens if you have that sugary breakfast, that bowl of cereal, what happens then? Well, you're going to get a sugar spike, and then you're going to get a crash, and your body's going to release all these hormones which make you hungrier. You're going to be hungry within 20 minutes, you're going to lack energy, because you're going to be tired from the insulin dump and before you know it you're going to be ripping the fridge door off again and looking for either a bed or another big bowl of cereal. I think it's important also though that isn't a green light for fats is it? I mean it's, it's still about balance isn't it? And it's getting the right types of fats you know we really don't want you know trans fats and all these fats that are in cookies and you know, biscuits, bacon every fast foods and bacon in, in every, oil every yeah. morning. We want the good fats which are your monosaturated fats, fats that are in olives, um, fats that are in avocados, fats that are in nuts in moderation once again because um, remember putting on weight boils down largely to how many calories come in and out of your body but your hormones as well yeah so you just can't eat something because it's good in abundance and think you're not going to put weight on if you yeah. eat 10,000 calories of nuts of course you're going to put weight yeah. on it's about being in moderation but don't worry about eliminating foods focus on what you should eat if you eat enough of them good foods you your body's not going to be hungry yeah you can get away with the chocolate mousse on a Friday night of course you can because your body's already got what it needs yeah and you're not starving yeah. and you're not overeating on crap foods which are empty in calories. The only reason you get hungry is because your body hasn't got the nutrients it needs and yeah. that's why it craves certain foods. So what we know is the fat is the lesser of two evils, sugar is the one that it's steer clear of. I think we should be aiming to get the good fats in our diet, they need to be more and more part of our diet. So like yeah. we said, your good fishes, you know, your nuts, your avocados, your olives, these are the good fats we want in our diet and we need in our diet to be healthy. And the sugar, we'll get that if we have a couple of pieces of fruit a day. And Yep. Yeah, and, sugar's not, and sugar in natural foods is good. Yeah. You know, fruit is a good thing for us. Yep. But once again, in moderation, a couple of bits of fruit a day are very important for us. Right. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that you should eat 20 pieces of fruit in a day. Yeah. You know, if we stick to largely a Mediterranean-based diet where olive oil is important as well, and, you know, some grains in moderation and some fruits in moderation, that's perfect. But it's with us guys, we tend to go team extreme, go on a caveman diet where we pretend to eat, you know, like cavemen did, which I never ate that way, just by the way, <laughs> quietly. But where we just eat saturated fats yeah. in meats and stuff like that. That's overkill. Okay. So they're going to find in 10 years' time that sort of diet is killing people and all of a sudden everyone's going to go the other extreme. Well, we hope that cleared up the blurry lines between fat and sugar. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time.